All right, guys, this is a, just a simple maintenance tip on any of the S550 Mustangs, uh, 2015, 16, 17, and most likely 18. Uh, replacing the interior cabin HVAC filter, which I have here. Uh, you know, it's a Ford Motorcraft FP78. I'll put a link in the video where you could, um, you know, pick these up relatively cheap. If anyone suffers from, you know, chronic allergies or asthma or anything else, I recommend changing this cabin filter every three to four months if you really want to, you know, keep the car uh, smelling fresh and not getting all the, all the dust and debris from the outside uh, pollen and tree leaves and everything else inside the car. So it'll take you 10 minutes. These things are about 15, 16 bucks. You can pick them up online. All you need is a Torx 20. Very simple. There's one little set bolt up inside the plastic housing. You release the bolt. Pull the flap down, filter slides out, you slide the new one in, and uh, you're good to go. So we're going to go over to the car. I'm going to show you quick how this gets done. I hope I could hold the camera. All right, folks, we're underneath the dash of the car. I'm shining the light up in there. I hope you guys could see this. But the bolt that's got to come out, I'm doing this, it's, it's right here. This is what has to get removed. Right here. Torx 20. You pull this out, this little flap is going to come right down. So uh, the clip is in the way. I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can move this and uh, show you guys a little bit better. Okay. So screwdriver's on it. Okay. And then the flap pulls right out. So you can see the flap got two tabs on both ends that slide in and then the one Torx 20 screw so then you look up in there you can see the filter and I'm gonna grab this and if the filters got a tab and you're just gonna grab it and slide it out and actually this one is not that old and you could see there's a lot of junk in there so that's why I'm changing it you see all that see all that junk so every four months, I suggest you replace these. Otherwise, your car might get a nasty smell, and then you might uh, you know, suffer from some airborne allergies every time you put the air conditioning or heating on. So pretty simple procedure. Let me just show you how the new one's going to slide in. You don't have to force it, it's already in, okay? You see? We got the new one already in there. And then you're gonna just put the, the little uh, plastic cap right back on there with the set screw, and then you're done. So like I said, it's a couple of minutes and uh, save you some peace of mind. No need to go to the dealer for this. You could do this stuff yourself. So hope you guys could, uh, could see, because I'm holding a flashlight and the camera and the tools at the same time. It's not that easy, because I don't want to put this camera on my head. It just makes it really cumbersome to move around under the dash. So let me get the cap on for you. All right, folks, there you have it. It's finished. Uh, that's the cabin filter replacement on any of the S550 Mustangs, whether it's an EcoBoost GT, Shelby GT350, GT350R, doesn't really matter. Same process, same replacement part, 10 minutes worth of time. I suggest you do it. I'll put a link below in the description where you can pick these up online. Any questions, post them below. Thanks.